Lesson 1. Introduction. Welcome to the Anatomy Masterclass. In this class, you will discover all you need to know about human anatomy. This knowledge will help you draw human figures and portraits more skillfully. This course contains 25 video lessons and covers three main aspects of figurative drawing. Human body, head and face proportions, human anatomy for artists, figurative drawing techniques. You may already have some drawing skills. Nevertheless, even if you have some gaps in your art education, you will find the Anatomy Master Class beneficial for improving your skills of drawing human figures and portraits. This course is designed in such a way that even a beginner will be able to understand and follow along. A human body contains more than 200 bones and over 300 muscles. Don't be overwhelmed. You don't have to learn them all. You are an artist, not a doctor. Video lessons will only show you major bones and muscles that influence the appearance of the human head and body. Some muscles are located deep inside a body and do not shape it, so we will skip such info. In the video lessons, you will see some Latin names of bones and muscles. Such names are there for reference and information only. There is no pressure to memorize them. Common names for bones and muscles, which you likely already know, will be used in place of medical terminology. You might be wondering what drawing materials you will need for the course. The answer? Not many. You probably already have everything that will be required. A couple of graphite pencils, HB and 2B will do. Some drawing paper or a sketchbook. an eraser, and if you want, a red color drawing pencil of your choice is all that is necessary. Now it is time to discover how to get the most from this course. For best results, just follow the sequence from lesson 1 to 25. Some lessons have several parts and others come in a single video. Watch part by part, lesson by lesson spending as much time as you need to understand the topic. You might want to watch some parts more than once. We learn better and memorize faster when using several ways of acquiring information. So, rather than just watching, you can pause a video from time to time and make a sketch or two. You may also write some notes next to your drawing what you have learned. It is a good idea to dedicate a separate sketchbook for that purpose. From video to video, you will fill in your sketchbook with drawings of human body proportions and various bones and muscles. You may want to use a graphite pencil for bones and a red pencil for muscles. This gives another dimension to your sketches, especially when muscles overlap bones. Next time you need a reference for certain proportions, it will be much faster to check your notes than to start watching videos from the beginning. Improving your figurative drawing skills takes more than just watching video lessons. You need to practice. It would be ideal to find access to a live model session locally or to visit a traditional art museum nearby where you can practice drawing antique busts and sculptures. If neither is available, no worries. You always have yourself and people around you. You may draw self-portraits and tell friends that you can draw their portrait for free. So there are no excuses for you to get stuck. If you have any art-related questions, please send an email to course support. All your questions will be dealt with promptly. It's time to get started 